the closet today. I haven't filmed a video in here in like three or four months probably. Most of the content on this channel has been over at the studio, but I wanted to bring it back to the original roots. For those of you guys who are new here, I'm gonna be showing you guys the outfits that I wore this week, how I put them together, why I put them together the way I did, and just overall some of the cooler pieces that I brought out of the closet this week. It's officially starting to warm up here in Arizona, so I'm kind of getting in my last wears of some of the warmer outfits before you guys see a lot more of the spring and summer stuff in the upcoming videos on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a comment down below. I'm gonna bless one of you guys down in the comments with $100, so just leave your cash app or your Venmo attached to your comment down below. Let me know your favorite part of the video. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so to start off Monday, I brought out this pair. This is a one-of-one -one reworked vintage pair. This used to be an old pair of Carhartts. And what we're currently doing at the studio is a 50-piece collection of one-of-one -one garments just like this pants shorts some denim jackets we even have some detroit jackets in there um, so this is one of the pieces dropping some details that we added to all the pieces are this leather tab that we finished on the back of all the garments and then we also took off all the old buttons and added our own proprietary hardware in there so you have the commons logo right there favorite part about these shorts though it's got to be the side hip we did hand placed pearls um, along the side of this short we also have some pants that it goes all the way down we posted a military four early pair um reel on our comments and hype Instagram. And we're actually wearing one of the pants uh, with the pearls in it. It's like a multicolor pearl. Did really well and there's a lot of people interested in the pants on that reel as well, which I thought was pretty cool. But this is just one of the shorts, one of 50 pieces dropping. Make sure to follow Common Studios on IG for the release date and info on all the pieces. Um, also on my personal Instagram where I'll be posting some more stuff once the collection starts to come around. So, so we're gonna start with these. I also threw the Chrome Hearts double roller belt in there as well. So we'll see how this looks. I'm just gonna leave the tee that I already had on on. Uh, this is a tee from Lululemon. It's like just like a comfy workout tee. And then I just had on the uh, Stussy Nike Overdyed sweats. Really, really love those sweats. For the top half of this fit, I'm just gonna throw on this Nike Stussy long sleeve jersey. A little bit lighter of an outerwear piece. This one came in black and white. I picked this up at the Kobe swap meet last weekend. Um, just thought it was a good easy piece. I got it for retail there as well. So I couldn't really be mad at it. Uh, it's pretty oversized, so I sized down like two sizes um, and it fits me pretty perfect in my opinion so throw this on I don't usually go too loud with the jewelry, but if you guys watched one of the first studio videos, I actually think it was the first video that on this channel that I filmed in the studio, uh, we had the homies at Ice Giant send me a package. So this was this like really sick pearl necklace that they sent, and I'm just gonna throw this on, but I'm gonna tuck it under the jersey. So you won't really be able to see it once I tuck it in, but it's just a little bit of a subtle detail. I think it's just a nice little accent to have to kind of tie in the pearls on the shorts, so you guys can let me know what you think. And then to finish this one off, I'm gonna throw on the Phillies cap. Shout out to my boy Kais for the fitted. I finally figured out what the collab was. It was a collab between uh, Hat Club, Lids, and Kais Omar. So this was one of the, I think, three releases that they did. Really sick. And then I'm just gonna throw on these like purplish pink bands that I've had from high school, just to give a little bit of color to this one. Shorts are definitely something that I would want to hopefully manufacture at some point um, and be able to create more than just one of them for you guys because I think that this is a really sick short um, and I could see a lot of people in them, especially even just the homies around the store. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to check out Common Studios for more updates on that drop. I'm really looking forward to that collection. Crystal and I, everyone at the store has been putting in a lot of work over the last couple of months to prep everything for it. Again, 50 one of one reworked pieces. We look forward to dropping those soon. And before we get into Tuesday, let's talk about something. Holding myself to a high standard has always been my creed, not just in my work, but in every aspect of my life. Striving for excellence means I often find myself juggling countless responsibilities and trying to exceed in each one of those. But this pursuit of perfection comes at a cost, stress, the constant pursuit of trying to balance life and work and keeping a clear mind amidst all the chaos. This is when I realized that I needed an outlet. I needed somewhere I could go to unpack my burdens and just help understand them better because I know with a clear mind, I can be more efficient not only as a creator, but as a leader as well. And that's where BetterHelp, the sponsor of today's video, comes into the picture. 
BetterHelp makes starting therapy much easier and less intimidating. It offers sessions via video call, phone call, or even messaging, catering to whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. With over 30,000 therapists in their network, BetterHelp matches you to a therapist based off your needs, preferences, and location, giving you expertise that you may not have based on where you currently are. So join over 4 million people who have turned to BetterHelp to start living a happier, healthy life. Head over to betterhelp.com using the link on the screen, the description, or the pinned comment, and select the Makoto Archive channel when you get there for a special discount off your first month of BetterHelp. Remember, it's not about being perfect, it's about making progress. All right, so to start off Tuesday, I believe I've worn these pants on the channel before. It's a pair of these more straight leg Carhartt pants. I'm not exactly sure on the style of them. Maybe it says it. Nah, it just says traditional fit. Um, if that's worth anything but yeah i really love these i love the wash on them and they just have this really good natural distressing some good knee holes and everything because all of my other light blue denim is pretty straight cut for the most part it doesn't have really any distressing or holes in it um so i do enjoy this pair they also fit me really well and yeah it's just a really good light blue wash for the springtime so this next piece is this vintage sweater I don't really know where it's from, to be honest. It doesn't have a tag. This shit could literally be hand knitted by someone's grandma. I picked this up at a vintage event like a while ago and I finally just got around to wearing it. So I like the cuts that they did um, at the bottom. Usually I'm not a big fan of like the split cut, but just on this piece specifically, I feel like it flows really well. My favorite part's gotta be the blue stitching that they incorporated kind of subtly throughout it. Just all like the cross stitching on where all the other patterns meet. I think that's really sick. So we'll throw this one on. See how it looks. JP. And then to finish this one out, I'm gonna throw on the Ricks. I haven't really worn these all that much since I bought them. I wore them pretty heavy in New York and then I wore them when I went to LA. So I wanted to break them out before it kind of gets too late for me to get some good wear out of these before basically the end of this year when it's gonna get cold again. So definitely one of the more simple outfits this week, but I feel like the pieces blend together really well. And I feel like the sweater is pretty loud, so I didn't wanna really do too much else with the fit. Tried to keep it simple. Tuesday's fit let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comments below honestly one of my favorite outfits this week but we're gonna get into some other really good ones right now so let's get right into Wednesday. if you guys are loyal to the channel then you've seen these pants um, in a couple different ways before one of my favorites and my only brown wash in a pant is this old Carhartt pant that we did our first rework collection with with more heat a while ago I've been wearing these so much, bro. But the screen print just looks so sick on them. I honestly feel like we need to bring this logo back and just run it on something. Because we only really did like 30 pairs of pants with it and then like never used it again. And I just feel like we could definitely get a little bit more use out of it. For the under layer of this one, I'm going to throw on the hidden Haven Court tee. Shout out to the boy Tony over in Irvine, California for gifting me this one when I last saw him in LA. If you guys wanna see my trip from LA, um, I think it was a month or two ago, you guys can go watch that video, I'll link it down in the description below. Honestly, my favorite video that I've ever posted on this channel and the least viewed video that I've ever posted on this channel. So, so if you guys want, you can go check that one out. I feel like that video was really slept on, but shout out to Tony for the team. broke this fit out was when I broke this jacket out for the first time this is another one of the 50 pieces in the rework collection we have this old Detroit jacket and this really really sick faded navy blue color and then it's got this brown corduroy collar and we did embroidery on the neck we also did embroidery on the two front chest hits so you got the globe on that side and you got common studios on this side and then on the back you have the big C logo fully embroidered and we stitched right on top of the existing screen print that was on this one. This is probably my favorite jacket that we're dropping. There's a really, really good black Detroit jacket that's also dropping, um, but I just think this one was a lot more unique and it's gonna be sad to see it go. Got back to my roots a little bit more this week. Another pair of Vans that I've literally had since like high school. Both of them are pretty small on me. Um, but I kept a lot of like the original vans that I have. I probably have like 30 pairs in my closet right here to my left. Um, literally just a bunch of random stuff, like two tone blocking, some old schools, 
these dropped and they're like a fuzzy pattern. I don't even know what those are. I know they're two-tone. Um, a lot of old schools, like basically every color you could think of. So anyway, I found the orange pair and I figured this would be the perfect time to break them back out. Thing about the jacket I forgot to show you. We also did leather patches on the back of all of these. The lighting is a little trash, so I don't know if you'll be able to make it out, but it looks really good on the back of this one as well. But yeah, that's Wednesday's fit. Let me know what you guys think of this one. My favorite piece for this has to be the jacket. I feel like it's only right, but you guys can let me know what you think down in the comments below. We're gonna get right into Thursday. Is it Thursday? So I don't know if I've worn this pair on the channel yet. This is a pair from Stussy, they're overdyed short. And I bought these at the same time as the big old short that you guys have probably seen in some of the past videos, but I just really like the way that the die stuck on the sides um, and also like the lining and stuff, which you can't really see when you're wearing them, but just really cool little details on this one that I enjoy. Throw these on though to start this fit. Pulling from the No Fear stack today, for you guys who are new, those are all No Fear vintage t-shirts and the rest of the stuff is just kind of mixed throughout, but the t-shirts are the only no fear stuff that I keep together collectively. Also recently just got this gifted to me, shout out to Dez, but it's this no fear like sports towel, which I just thought was really sick. So I threw that in here as well. But for the tee for this one, just wanted to bring some color back out, especially with the shorts of choice for this fit. So I got the no fear skydiving tee, shot up and jump on the back and a really sick gradient graphic and then your classic no fear hit right there on the front left chest. This tee's an XL, most of the other shirts are large, but I just feel like a baggier shirt with this baggier short would make more sense. So we'll throw this one on and see how it looks. I don't think I've broken these out on the channel yet. This is the Nike SB Dunk Low Ashad Wear in the flat silver, I think the colorway is called. I really love these because this is a flat tongue SB. So most Nike SBs have the big fat chunky tongue and some of the SBs have this thinner tongue, which I really enjoy. These were gifted to me uh, by Brandon actually. He gifted these to me like right after Christmas or like maybe right in the first couple weeks of January. So I've got to break them out a couple times. I even wore them to an event last month as well. So really cool to have these in the collection. Um, really love the pink little hits that are in there as well. with this fit since it's gonna be a little colder I could throw on just like a plain little zip up but then you kind of lose like my favorite part of the fit which is the back of the graphic of this tee but even just something like this you can kind of get away with just to keep yourself warm and not really do too much else with the color so I don't know you can let me know what you think I would prefer to rock it without the hoodie though and just be cold just so the the fit stays hard but either way it was good to break these shorts out again I really do enjoy them um, and I think they actually have them in a couple different colors now um, from this year's releases. And then of course, shout out to B for the footwear for this outfit. But we're gonna get right into the next one. So this denim I picked up uh, when I was in LA. This was actually a part of that same LA vlog that I was referring to earlier. Uh, this is from Menace. I actually had these way earlier than I thought. I knew I had them before Steven dropped them, um, but they ended up not dropping for like quite a while after. So they are officially live. I think they actually just restocked them because they sold out the first time, but Really cool steel embossed patterning on these. You got the Menace tag right there. You got the M on the back, one of my favorite parts. I styled these in, I think the last video as well. So if you guys wanna see a different fit in them, you guys can go check that one out. But the wash on these is really great. They fit really sick. Um, and just a really unique pair of blue wash denim that I really enjoy. So I'm gonna start the fit off with these and we'll check them out. <laughs> So this zip up right here, I think I referred to in the last video when I wore the blue version of it, uh, but this is from FKA Collection, also known as First Known Alias. My boys over in the UK sent me over this piece along with that hoodie um, and a couple t-shirts, I think. Still got the tag on it, but crazy all over embroidery on the back. I'm in a really nice embroidery on the front of this chest. This t-shirt is like the heaviest t-shirt in my closet. 
and it's not even close. They're using them super ultra premium products over there. So a shout out to the homies, always killing it. Love to see their brand continue to progress. I think they have another little pack for me on the way for some of their summer stuff. Uh, but this jacket is so fucking sick. This is on a French Terry, a pretty heavy French Terry. Um, and I just think the green on white looks really, really sick. So hats off to FKA Collection again for smashing another piece. Always good to see what those boys are up to. And I appreciate them keeping me in the loop with all that stuff as well. Honestly, I would throw my chrome belt on, but it's at the bottom of a pile of clothes right here. And I don't feel like grabbing it. So I'm just gonna zip it up, see how it looks. And then you guys know, I don't like to get like too matchy with the colors most of the time but I just felt like this was the perfect time to break out the pine greens since I never really break them out all that much. Felt like this was a good time and it goes really, really well with the zip. for the new piece. Thank you to Steven for the denim as well. Just a straight gifted outfit other than the fours that I got taxed on at the time, which actually in hindsight, not really. I paid the high for these pine greens. I paid like 350, like right when they dropped. And then I think now it's like a $600 shoe. I'm not even sure now because I don't really plan on selling mine, but yeah. And as I mentioned, the military fours earlier that we got that early pair, I've seen them in hand and they're fucking sick. I know for sure I need to get my hands on those. Hopefully I hit for retail. Probably not, but I am gonna end up with a pair, so I'll look forward to that. Now we're gonna get straight into, I think, Saturday. Some of my most worn denim lately has been this pair of guest jeans. I picked up this pair at some event for like less than 20 bucks, and again, they've been one of my favorite pairs, one of my most worn pairs um, in the last year since I bought them. So we're gonna throw these on. Really wide leg fit on these, very baggy, um, and they fit me really nice, so we'll throw these on. Sneaking back into the no fear pile. I'm gonna break this one out for the first or second time since I bought it, but this really sick no fear graphic tee of the centered logo on the front with this like kind of glitter effect in it. And then on the back, this crazy angel devil graphic, got the fire and the ice. I remember when I first saw this one, um, I texted Des, I was like, bro, I need this. And uh, the one that I had found wasn't my size. Um, and I think Dez later ended up finding me this one in my size. So shout out to the homie Dez for real on this one. Really, really sick graphic tee and happy to get around to breaking it out again. And then over the top of that, I'm just going to throw on this vintage No Fear flannel that I picked up at a vintage event in Phoenix it was. And I actually ended up filming that one, I think. You guys can see there's a couple No Fear hits on this one. Got the tag at the bottom and then the tag on the inside as well. Shout out to the homie Drew. If you guys watched the video, you know he found this one in that one random boost pile. So it was really sick and I think it fits me pretty well. And then for the footwear in this one, I recently picked these up. This is the gallery department UGG that just dropped. Uh, my boy that works there hit me. Actually, that's Cap. I hit him. I was like, yo, is this real? Because I saw there was like a teaser of it. And he's like, yeah, I got you when they drop. And... He ended up he ended up holding it down and i ended up going with the beige colorway there was a black one as well which i preferred a little more because there wasn't paint splatter on the black one um, but i felt like i would just get more wear out of the wheat pair and i definitely have been i've been wearing these like three times a week probably um honestly just because they're super comfortable i never really fell for the ugg hype and then i guess they dropped a gallery one i was like yeah i guess but i don't know you guys know i've been wearing like a lot of stuff with like rivets and shit in it for quite a while especially like the Fugazi pants you guys have seen a bunch of times on the channel. Um, so yeah, I've just been appreciative of the hardware lately. Thought it was a good little collab um, and I hit him for retail, so can't really be mad. Super cozy, relaxed vibes on this one. Flannel's a little bit longer, jeans are a little bit baggier, and then just got on the cozy shoes. So definitely can't be mad at this one. Still incorporated a little bit of color. I've been trying to get out of wearing all black because I was in all black for like a month. Honestly, all black is just really easy to wear. It just makes it simple to throw an outfit on, but when it comes to actually getting creative and utilizing all the pieces in here, um, I've been trying to 
I don't know, mess around with the color a little bit more. So you guys can let me know how you think I did. And there's one more fit of this week. We're gonna end it off with a pretty calm one. So we're gonna start this one out with a pair that's not in the rework collection, but um, I did add rivets to these over at the studio like a minute ago. I've had these for a while. I just haven't really broke them out on the channel, um, but I've been getting a lot of wear out of them. Very simple, just a white painter short. And I just added a couple layers on the back pockets, one layer on that one, and then just did like around the rim of the pocket in the front. So some calm, let me know what you guys think of them. But I just think the turquoise off the white looks really good. And you guys know, I love a little bit of turquoise every once in a while. got this old Yamaha racing tee that we'll throw on for the upper part of the fit. Just a really nice light sun fade on this vintage tee. And I picked this up at, I think it was an out, one of those outdoor events we went to um, in the first vintage shopping video. Um, I believe is where I picked this one up for like maybe 10 bucks. But you guys know I love the white blue combo. So that's how we're gonna throw it on for Sunday. It's been a minute since I broke out this pair of gazelles. Um, I was wearing them a lot when I first bought them. You can kind of see a little bit on the back just from where all the denim was sitting on them. But I really enjoyed this pair. Had to give them a little bit of a break because I knew I would probably rock these quite often here coming up in the spring and summer. Throwing on the gazelles for this one to bring a little color to it. And I think it complements the blue really well too. going to be the outfits that I'm wearing this week. Let me know what you guys think of them all down in the comments below. What your favorite day was or maybe just your favorite piece. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys go check them out. Leave a link down in the description as well as the pinned comment. If you guys want to see more content from me, make sure to check out my Instagram at Bryson Yamo as well as the Common Studios Instagram where we're going to be rolling out the official rework collection as well as some of our first manufactured products for the brand upcoming here very soon. So thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in the next one.